Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Walter and this is Walter's Life. And today I'm actually going to do a review of the vehicle I actually purchased. A while ago, I sold my 2017 F-150 um, XLT crew, Super Crew Cab because it was just giving me a lot of problems. And long story short, for about a month, I was in a rental car and I finally last week got my new vehicle. So without further ado, here it is. very generic um, lock unlock remote start panic button uh, ram logo Oops, upside down. ram logo so just as usual So yes, I did get a Ram 1500. Uh, I get a 4x2 and a Hemi V8. I don't really need the um, the need for say 4x4 now. And after talking to my father also, I was explaining to him what I was trying to get or what I was looking for originally. After talking to him, it was like, yeah, you're right. I don't really need a 4x4 because I'm in Florida, as you can see, it's always sunny and hot here. And I don't really do anything that requires a 4x4 anyway. So without further ado, I'm gonna go over the inside of it and give just a brief detail what everything gives and what I have. Here we go. So going inside the driver's side, you have the black on black with the soft touch fill right here. It's with the soft touch as well. It's like a fabric right here, actually. Lock, unlock, um, power down. You also have the fold in mirrors on both sides. Even when the car is off, you can still unfold them and fold them in. Coming inside, you have the auto of course you have the fog lights power um park brake electric park and also the foot adjust up and down you have the seats here come to the seats it's a great material i'm not a leather guy at all i really don't honestly like leather hopping inside this is a very nice cabin feel it's not too small it's not too big it is different from my f-150 which i am still kind of getting used to a little bit for the most part but here you have the push button start put on a brake and that's how the screen comes on big horn miles per hour that has my set at the moment here coming on is the you connect at the moment you you get the serious for the serious radio or whatever it's called i have that for like i think three months cut that down but uh yeah so and i like the feel of all the buttons um yeah ac different uh zones for it you have radio you have media different climates right here for different for the passenger and for the driver's side you have the apps the controls phones of course and the settings and here you can actually, in controls, you can dim the mirror, you can put on the backup camera, even though you're not in reverse as well. And you could actually zoom in to, to the trailer hitch. It went backing up. As talk about trailer hitch, you have the trailer brake right here and also the trailer steering as well. Tow haul mode, traction on and off. We have the parking, uh, the front and rear sensors for the front and back. Um, they're off now. I don't really use them. And below that, you have the USCs and USBs with the aux cord to plug in. This this does come with Apple CarPlay and Android, whatever that is. 
Down here you have a 400 watt hertz as well. Moving over, this is the center. Two cup holders there. You have a shelf there, shelf there, nice deep storage. This actually moves forward and aft. So you can have it all the way back or have it all the way forward. When it's always in the forward position, you have a nice deep storage over the field line. So you'd actually know where to put it. Looking on the passenger side right now, you have the top part, another little hiding thing in there, a little shelf as well. Below you have another compartment, the actual normal glove compartment in normal cars there as well. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Above you have the, you know, the, uh, and over here you have the actual lights, the individual lights that each person can use. You have the sliding window open and close holder for glasses or you want to put in there and also you have the garage opener right here and it's the way to set it up but yeah you know and just a regular vanity mirror looking at the back door is just like the front door you have that soft material here soft to the touch as well right here you have the big nice floorboard is flat Below, this trim lever came with actually the ram bins, which you just lift it up and then open this, this little latch, open it up. And you have a ruler there also, I if you can focus, actual ruler or measuring in there for the ram box. And it's pretty deep actually. So I have some gloves in there and just my license place holders for now because I'm gonna have my actual license place yet and it snaps in place. And back here, you actually have the seats. It's a 60-40 split, so I just lower it down. All right, lower this one down. It's not hard to lower down either. <laughs> not hard to lower down as well. You have this center pocket right here with another drink holder for each person if no one's in the middle. So get in. The driver's seat is currently at my normal driving position, and you can see I have plenty of room right here plenty of room and I'm six feet so you know if you're tall you got it to the right of the center you have come to the center right here you also have the USB and C's right here two each and the AC for both sides and the regular household plug because I got the night edition the bumper comes color match with the vehicle you have the rim logo and here's the back of the camera actually to let the tailgate down it is dampened, it just don't slam down, which is great. And have the drop-in bed liner with the rim logo at the back. There's the slide in rear window. And also have the Max Trailer tow package as well with the four and seven pin connectors. Open up the hood right now. It's just a little small latch right here. You can see it, probably can't hear. Just move it over. And it is hydraulic right there. And there she is, the Hemi V8 5.7 liter. I will say it is very thirsty. It's like the third tank of gas that I've put in already so far. And it's only been like a week, but I am kind of heavy footed, but yeah. As you, it's a lot of room left, even though it's a big engine bay as well. So, oh. Then slam it. Let's try that again. There it is. As to the big chrome level, two, I have the halogen bulbs for the front headlights, and also I have the side mirror indicators as well with the turn signal as well. LED bulbs are optional, but at the moment I just have the halogen because I want to change it myself anyway. As I did say before, this is a Ram 2021 Crew Cab Bighorn 4x2. This is actual the window sticker and what the options it came with. I'll slow down and you can pause it if you want to look at everything.
So getting this truck, I will say it was a process. I did learn to uh, have patience, especially now with the chip shortage. Um, dealerships aren't really getting that much in, and if they are getting stuff in, it may not be exactly what you want or what you're looking for. So if you are in the market trying to find a truck, you may get lucky and find something you want, like right away, or for like myself, it was a month that I was uh, renting a car, renting a car uh, before I got this. And then getting this truck, I actually went to the dealership, the Ram dealership, like I think five times. <laughs> And every time they had the same thing over and over and over again. And like just what happened one day, um, I went and was, I was like, you know what? Tell me the truck. Um, I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of paying to rent a car. So I ended up getting this new Ram 1500, which I like. And I'm definitely going to start doing mods to it. So if you'd like to see a mod done to it, anything like that, let me know. I'm going to start doing videos for that as well. Depending on my schedule, because as you know, I'm in the Navy. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching the video. I hope I did okay my first car review. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and have a great day.